So followers of my channel will know that the area, at least the one that I have, does charge very consistently. Uh, unless you forget to preheat. Uh, I had that once and uh, just like Nissan says, I didn't get maximum charging speeds, but okay charging speeds. Um, and uh, this week uh, I once again forgot to do that. I arrived with 8% and um, as you can see, the car went up to 116 kilowatts and very quickly dropped down to 103 um, seem to settle there and um, yeah I did charge for five minutes then aborted the session simply because I wanted to know if this was um, kind of a general thing or if it was indeed uh, due to me forgetting to preheat. To give you the full picture it was uh, seven degrees outside I thought of preheating only five minutes prior arrival uh, I turned it on, I then started the session and got the res result that you see now. I then um, aborted the session and did a 15 minute drive while preheating. So all in all, if we include the charging session itself, which should have uh, had the heater on, we had uh, 25 minutes of preheat when arriving at the second charger. And uh, indeed, the car was noticeably faster. The curve I got was uh, somewhat unusual yet again. So this was kind of the um, fourth uh, variant of the charging curve that I've witnessed. Uh, and once again, the car managed to be almost as fast as under optimal um, conditions. It just did it in a completely different way. It uh, went up to 116 kilowatts dropped to 111 was the lowest I think and then kind of ping-ponged back and forth uh, like giving uh, small pulses up to 116, 115 every four minutes or so and then dropping again. No, no big jumps, uh, just very gently um, which is good I think. And the car did this uh, up until 51% which is the usual point where it starts to, ta to taper down, somewhere between 51 and 58% that happens. And um, the earlier it starts to taper, the shallower the charging curve is. And um, that's how the car um, kind of manages to arrive at a certain set of charge pretty much at the same time, give or take a few minutes. Um, in this case, we were at 80% uh, after 32 minutes, and that's um, depending on what charging session you compare this to. Um, I'm talking about the sessions that started sub 10%. Uh, this is one to two minutes slower, so we're pretty inconsequential um, for your uh, planning. Um, so yeah, good, solid and consistent performance there another uh, charging technique, another curve. And uh, that's quite fascinating um, that they took the time to um, yeah, kind of program the car in so many different ways to compensate for, for stuff. It almost feels like they did some machine learning there. Um, so the car seems to know very well or the battery management system seems to know very well what the battery can take and which route to take to arrive uh, at decent charging times. I have no clue if that actually is the case or, um, but that's how it looks from my point of view at least. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, in the end we got from 13 to 80% in 32 minutes and that's a good time I would say.